welcome to another session of this video so in this particular um, session we'll be discussing about control panel all right so i will be showing you everything you need to know about control panel how you can log into your control panel and then how you can access various features of control panel okay so before you can have access to control panel of your website the first thing you need to do is to buy a domain name then after buying domain name you have to buy a hosting after buying hosting that's when your hosting company will give you access to your control panel dashboard all right they will be the one to send you the username and the password that you will need to log in your control panel so there are various websites on the internet you can buy hosting from example is a name cheap okay if you need a cheaper hosting then you can always contact me because i have my own hosting server i can sell hosting for you in a more cheaper rate we'll go right into the training and i will be showing you everything you need to know about control panel okay so if you want to log into your control panel then the first thing you need to do is to type in your domain name slash cpanel okay so as you can see over here you must have you must add cpanel to your domain name before you'll be directed to this particular um, control panel login page then you have to provide your username and password so this, those those details will be provided to you by your hosting company okay so after providing those information you have to click on login awesome so guys we have logged into the control panel dashboard right now as you can see there are various uh, features here they have all of them everything you are seeing here they all, they all have various functionalities depending on what you are working on guys so i will show you the most important one you need here then as time goes on you can start exploring them yourself okay so we'll start with this um, particular email we'll start with this one which is email account all right guys so you can you make use of this email account when you want to create a company mail for your for your website so as you can see right now those are um, various email which i have created on this control panel all right so you you can see right here this is the, this is the uh, company name which is perfectskincare.com.ng okay let me open it so that you see everything okay this is the company name perfectskincare.com.ng so i created this domain name which is danny at perfectskincare.com.ng so if you want to create a custom email address on your on cpanel so then you have to you have to use this particular session that says create email account so the next thing you need to do is to click on create if you want to create new email for your um, company you click on create then over here you type in the username let's see i want to create um for myself now which is my care i can use i can do something like this all right then i will come over here and type the password all right so after filling those information you scroll down and click on create okay guys so as you can see right now this is the email address i just created let me let me show it to you guys okay so this is the email address michael at perfectskincare.com.ng so that's how to create email address from your cpanel okay so i'll i'll go back to the cpanel dashboard now so that i will show you other features you can achieve using the control panel so this particular session that said email forwarder okay you can make use of this email forwarder maybe um you have a web mail which you already created on the cpanel but you don't normally access the web mail so what you do is that you will forward you will add email forwarder to the uh, web mail which you created here so that any email that enter into into your web mail it will be automatically forwarded to your gmail address which you have easy access to okay so i'm going to show you how to create email forwarder right now i will click on forwarders then you will click on um, add forwarder okay so i will type in the username of the email i want to add forwarder to let's say i want to add forwarder to the email address i just created which is my care you don't need to select any other thing here just leave it at perfectskincare.com i will leave it at that then i will come over here they say forward to email address so i will add my gmail address which i want the email that that this particular web mail will receive so the email that it will forward it to so let's see 
I, I want it to forward it to my gmail address which is this particular one then i will click on add forwarder all right guys so as you can see i've already added them um, forwarder to it right there all emails sent to michael at perfectskincare.com.ng which will now be copied to onyobi michael system at gmail.com so guys that's how to add email forwarder we'll go back to the dashboard right now okay then we have here also we have auto responder you can add auto responder to your webmail as well so what this auto responder will do is that maybe if someone sent a message to your email and you are not available your your email address will automatically send the auto forwarder which you have already customized to the person immediately all right so to do that you just have to click on add auto responder here so you set the interval so if you want it to deliver immediately then you have to make the site zero you type in zero here okay so i will choose my domain name my username which is michael so i will i will put okay so you have to fill this side you say from let's say from uh, i will put my name here from michael okay subject the subject i will i will type thank you okay so then you have to type in the body of the message which you which you want uh the person the people the the people that will message you which you want them to receive okay so you can say uh thank you for your message depending on what you want this is just for sample okay okay guys so you can do something like this after filling those information so you make sure this particular session you put it to immediately then you say stop never okay then you click on create all right so you successfully created the uh, michael at perfectskincare.com.ng auto responder so anytime a message enter this particular email address an auto responder will be sent immediately to the person that sent the message okay so that's how to do, the, do that's how to add auto responder to your email address okay all right guys we have other features here also which you will make use of but as time goes on we'll start i will start explaining each and every one of them to you okay so we have domain name so you can add um domain name let's say you want to add add on domain name to your to your c panel so that's when you make use of this one then we have sub domain name as well if you want to add sub domain name to your email address then you will make use of this particular session okay so as you can see from the c panel there are numerous functionalities which you can um, make use of from the control panel but for the purpose of this training i'm not going to explain everything as time goes on as we start working with each and every one of them i will start explaining them um, for you so this is all ab about the control panel training so from the next video i will show you how to install wordpress from the control from control panel